confused, Hines. I'm sorry, Mr. Swole. For two years, I've been grooming you for better things. Here's an opportunity for you to take charge of my South American agency, and you refuse. But I want to raise my baby in America, Mr. Swole. All right, you can go. I can't understand it, Miss Muller. Here's Potterwick with three babies. Hines is an infant, and Phelps is expecting one. Three of my best men, and not one of them will go to South America. Why? Because they've got babies. Does Mr. West? Ah, uh, yes, West. Has he got any babies? No, he doesn't like babies. He likes dogs. Ah, get him. My Junior can say Papa just as clear as you or I. Now listen, this is how he says it. Papa, see? Papa. How the dickens else would you expect him to say it? Well, of course, my Junior's only four. Yeah. Well, you should hear him sing that ink cut ink or two. Oh. Why, he gets more out of it than Jimmy Durant. By the way, have you seen my Junior? No, but I hear enough about him. If you don't stop bragging, that kid will have you arrested when he grows up. What do you mean? Oh, you guys let me sick. You talk like a couple of wet nurses running a temperature. Why don't you talk like men? Can't you think about anything but whining, squalling babies? Go get yourselves a dog. A dog? Yes, certainly. You walk the floor all night with a squawking rat, and then you come in here sleepy and smelling of condensed milk. Excuse me, Mr. West. Mr. Swope wants to see you. All right. I'll take a dog for mine. Come in. Sit down, West. Yeah. West. Have you any children? Why, uh... Are you expecting any children? Well... Do you like children? Why... Oh, well, you... come on, you can speak freely. No, sir, I don't. Just give me a dog. Oh, <laughs> you... you like dogs? Oh, do I? Man's best friend, the most wild creature on two feet. I mean, four feet. Go on, West. I like dogs myself. He'll, he'll kiss the hand that has no food to give. When all other friends desert, he remains. He is as constant in his love as the sun in its journey through the heavens. Well, you certainly know dogs. What kind of a dog have you? A white one. Oh, he's no prize winner, but affection. Oh, you ought to see the look in his eyes when he sees me. You mean he, he does this when he sees you? No, no, it's, it's more like this. <laughs> I mean, that's love. <laughs> Tell me, West. Yes. Would you like to take charge of my South American agency? Why? All right, it's settled. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Swope. Uh, that's all right. I'll drop over one of these days and meet your dog. Yes, why, he'll... <laughs> there, you see? I get the South American office. And why? Because I have no baby. <laughs> well, I've got to phone the wife now. Saps. Some guys have all the luck, but others, all the babies. Right! I'm coming home immediately, and I've got great news. Yes. How's my little Rex? Rex is all right. He generally is. Oh, that's fine. Listen, darling, tell him that Papa loves him. <laughs> Makes me so mad. Can you imagine sending love to a dog? Why don't you bring him up to dinner this evening? That's an idea, Mary. It might help. Good. We'll be expecting you. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'm sure your husband will get something out of our happy example. Of course he will. <laughs> we'll see you later. All right, dear. We're not having... Calm yourself, Henry. There's for the baby upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Darling, we're leaving for South America in two weeks. South America? Yes. I'm to be the representative for the firm. Oh, what? Oh. Hello, Rex. Oh, boy. Yes. Well, uh, what do you think of it? A trip to South America? <laughs> oh, Nona. Do you think he gets seasick? Henry, 
please get ready. We're dining with the Grahams. Oh, those people upstairs? Yes, charming people. Charming? Haven't they got a baby? Oh, wait until you see him. I want you to notice how the little thing draws them together. Mm-hmm. Hello, darling. Hello, Dan. What, no supper? I'll be a little late, dear. We're having company, so you can help by preparing the baby's formula and washing out a few of his things. Oh, that's well. I work like a dog all day, come home hungry and no supper. And then I'm buried under an avalanche of milk bottles and baby parachutes. But, Dan... Now, I want you to notice how sweet Dan Graham is to his wife, and it's all over to the baby. I'll still take a dog. Well, we'll see if they're as happy as you say. Is that so? We are happy enough till the baby came. Now I'm just a guy hanging around. How dare you say things like that, Dan Graham? No, no, wait, wait, listen. I tell you, this kid is a menace. A menace? Yes, a monster, an insidious monster. He's undermining our happiness. Look, I haven't even got a button on my shirt. I won't neglect my baby for all the buttons in the world. Come on. Come in. Well, well, good evening. We've uh, come for dinner. Well, you'll have to wait. <laughs> I don't know how long you'll have to wait. We have a baby, you know. Oh, yes, yes. We understand. It's the baby who draws people together. Oh, you haven't got a baby, have you, Mr. West? Ooh, no, I consider a baby a menace, a monster that undermines the happiness of people. Henry! Oh, go right on, Mr. West. I said the same thing myself a few minutes ago. Well, now, take it from the economical standpoint. Oh, I've got all the figures. Hospitals, doctors, food, clothes, toys, schools. One child, by the time it graduates from college, costs $36,621. And that includes 10% allowance for bottle breakage. Oh, that's absurd. <laughs> Say, in my house, when dinner isn't ready, we have plenty of cans of beans. What do you say? <clears throat> oh, dear. I'm going to take Dan down and introduce him to Rex. All right. He's just plain dog. Well, I don't know. It's just about him. Well, I'll take the dunce prize. Come up and see our happy home. We could only put a baby in his arms and let him feel the dependent helplessness of the little thing. That's it. My washwoman has a little baby and she's looking for a good home for it. I wonder if we could borrow it for a couple of days. Well, why don't you find out? I will. <laughs> Yes, sir. Man's best friend. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, don't feed him. I never feed him until I fed myself. That's the difference between a baby and a dog. <laughs> well, don't forget, Henry, we all started as babies, you know. Yes, but I imagine I grew up very quickly. That is, as far as I grew. <laughs> See it? Well, let it go. Goodbye. Yes, you'll let me have it. I'm going over after it right now. Oh, that's great. Do you actually love your baby? Yes, but uh, uh, I think I'll like him better later on. No, that's just it. Why can't they be born when they're three or four years old? Well, I never heard a man talk like that. Why don't you like babies? Well, why do you suppose I got that South American position? Why? Simply because I have no babies. <laughs> you got yourself a dog. No, dogs are all right, but good heavens, Henry. Babies today are you and I tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's more me. You can come up here. All right, darling. Coming right away. We'd better go back upstairs. They're waiting for us. Yeah, I suppose. It's the baby. No, sir, you never have to walk the floor with a dog. <laughs> you get it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very funny, yeah. young man. You walk right out of here. Oh, no. Henry, this baby's only eight months old. He couldn't walk. Well, I walked when I was six months old. Oh. My mother told me so. Whose brat is that? Uh, this is a washwoman's baby. How do you do? <laughs> She's away for the weekend. Oh, come on, young man. Come on. 
March yourself right out of here. Do you hear me? Come on, get out. You know, no, 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 don't start crying. One yip out of you and out you go. No, 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 no. You can't pull any of that soft soap stuff on me. No, no, no. You're just kidding yourself, I tell you. Now, come on. No, now, look up. No rough stuff. Don't get rough with me. from there. Don't you see that's a baby? Of course, Henry, if it's going to bother you, why, I can call the police and have the baby taken to a cell until Monday. What? To put that little baby in a cold cell? Oh for a couple of days. Yes, but don't you think that we might look after it? If there's any looking to be done, you'll do it. Huh? I wonder if there isn't an old baby carriage around this place. Baby carriage? Yes, well, after all, tomorrow's Sunday, and the baby does need some air. Henry West, how you've changed. Well, after all, even a baby needs air, doesn't he? <laughs> speak now. Get up, get up, speak. Speak. Speak now. <laughs> Come on, speak me. Speak me. That's <laughs> right. Now, speak. Speak. <laughs> Hey, you. What's the big idea? There isn't any idea at all. Is that baby yours? Uh, no, sir. Then whose is it? What's its name? Uh, I don't know, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. A baby snatcher, a kidnapper. Oh, no, no, no. I can explain everything. Yeah? You yeah. come with me. Oh, Hansy, this bird thinks I'm a kidnapper. Tell him who I am. Why, I never saw this man before in all my life, officer. Ross, you know who I am. You look like a wet nurse to me. What? I work in the office with these boys. Yeah? Well, you're going to do a little work in the station house. Come along with me. Come on. Get along. That's it. Get a wiggle on you. Go away. Keep on going. You'll do time for this. Well, I hope they give him 50 years. Oh, <laughs> 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 kidding is kidding. Officer, I insist I'm no kidnapper. Don't you believe him, officer. He smells of condensed milk. <laughs> Quiet. Now look here, you three. If you know this fellow and he is what he says he is, this is no time for monkey business. Sure we know him. He works in our office. But then what are you doing with the baby? I was just minding it. Minding it? I wouldn't let you mind a mule. <laughs> Quiet! As for you three guys, cut out your wisecracks and keep your eye on them baby carriages. Scat! Come on. Thanks, thanks, fellas. This is awful embarrassing. Hey, what are you going to do with the baby when you go to South America? Oh, you don't understand. This isn't my baby. <laughs> oh, behave. Wait till the boss finds out. Oh, <laughs> not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> hey, the boss. Good morning, boys. Uh, good morning, Mr. Swope. I'm looking for West's apartment. It's round here somewhere, isn't it? Well, yes, it's uh, right over there. Oh, thanks very much. 
I hope the boss don't find him with that baby. <laughs> if he does, Wes will have plenty of time to play with that dog. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't we have a narrow escape, eh? Oh, that cop gave us an awful riding. But oh, I'd go through more than that for this little fella. Well, I'm not going to stay here and listen to your silly baby talk. I'm going upstairs with Mary Graham. Oh, listen to that. Come on now, come on. Give us your big smile. Say goodbye. <laughs> got such big eyes, and when he looks at you, he... Sure, take him. <laughs> what are you doing that for? When that old stork flies in the window now, boy, is he welcome. <laughs> 